Turn one. While we check that out, let's go to the pits with Michaela. And I bet you don't stand on the same step as Cam Restall, Michaela. Ha ha ha! Yeah, I just asked him to take a step down. Let's <laughs> get him the... to stand up for a second on your level for a second. Watch let's him just... stand up to see how much taller you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now put him back down. Now he said, "Come back down." <laughs> We had a laugh with one of the guys last night. I told him to stand down and he was like, okay, stand down, soldier. I was like, eh. Anyway, Cam, you didn't have a very lucky night tonight and you guys have fought pretty hard to get out there, but unfortunately you didn't make it out there for this big. No, we didn't. We um, we come in tonight really looking really good. We are 14th on points and uh, we were going to go straight to the A, but just pushing a little bit too hard on the, in that last heat, just trying to get those last few points to really secure our position and... Yeah, just got caught up in another car. It sort of did a little bit too much damage for us to get back out. We were trying to get in the B, um, and oh yeah, we just went over the car, final checks then, and she's got a bit of a damage on the front end, so that's pulled us out, all good, so. Sure, there's a lot of people you want to thank. Yeah, definitely is. First of all, I want to thank uh, Scott Inglis. We had an engine drama, it was only small, and he got onto it straight away yesterday. Got us out in time for the first heat, so that was awesome. And the Jenkins boys, um, DJ and Troy, their, their whole crew have just, they're, they're excellent. They've just helped us over the two nights and, and they just put in a big effort to get the car uh, ready for what we thought was going to be the B here and yeah, unfortunately, but we're not the first to go through it. Everyone's done that before, so we'll just pack up and watch it on the hill. Well, better luck next time. Hopefully next Aussie title's a bit nicer. Hope so, yeah, and we, um, we go again and have our, we'll do, it, do the best we can next year. Back to you, boys. Thank you, Shorty. Well, not normally, but when someone like Hat stands next to him, Paul Murphy just climbing out of the speedwayshop.com.au number six. Cool looking shot there on the screen right there. Murphy, you okay, mate? Just shaking over the car. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Bugger, though. Yeah, it sucks this early in the uh, B-Main, but that's what happens when you get in the B-Main, I guess. Mate, I'll get my remote out. I'll just put up the replay on the screen here for you. Cool shot of the Manders car. Let's have a look at what happened. What do you recall of it? I just went up the top and I seen a couple of cars get together. I tried to get up out of the way, but just didn't have uh, didn't have enough room or didn't have quick enough. So here's where Darren Vine gets across the front of Bob Jackson. That's what caused it. Unfortunately, you and Mick Harder had nowhere to go. Uh, yeah, that's right. There's a couple of cars in front of me, and we were just trying to um, get up out of the way. <laughs> As you see there, that's the way it is. It's racing. Come with me. Do you want to thank some people while we walk down? Yeah, big thanks to uh, Mark Harrington and Alison Dwyer for letting me first race their car. Uh, Rod Francis, Rod Zordo care. The speedway shop and all the people at supporters. Bad luck, mate, to the bar now. <laughs> yeah, it's a good spot, mate. Right up there, you can sit with Jess Cassidy and Kelly Linigan and all that bunch. See them waving. They'll, they'll buy you a beer up there, mate. 